You all know the Bible is made of testaments old and new. You've been told it's just those two parts, or only one if you're a Jew. <laughs> what if I were to tell you there's a fresh third part of him, which was found by a hip new prophet who had a little Donny Osmond flair? <laughs> Have you heard of the all-American prophet? The blonde-haired, blue-eyed voice of God. He didn't come from the Middle East like those other holy men. No, God's favorite prophet was all-American. I'm going to take you back to biblical times. 1823. An American man named Joe living on a farm in the Holy Land of Rochester, New York. You mean the Mormon prophet Joseph Smith? That's right, that young man spoke to God. He spoke to God. And God said, Joe, people really need to know that the Bible is in two parts. Huh? There's a part three to the Bible, Joe. Oh. And I, God, have anointed you to dig up this part three, which is buried on a tree of a hill in your backyard. Oh, wow, God says go to your backyard and start digging. That makes perfect sense. Joseph Smith went up on that hill and dug where he was told. And deep in the ground, Joseph found shining plates of gold. What are these golden plates? Who buried them here and why? Then appeared an angel whose name was Moroni. Except for you, they are only for you to see. Even if people ask you to show the plates to them, don't just copy them onto normal paper. Even though this might make the question that the plates are real or not, this is sort of what I am going for. Joseph took the plates home and rose down what he found inside. He turned those plates into a book and he rushed through the town and cried. Hey, God spoke to me and gave me this blessed ancient tome. He's commanded me to publish it and stick it in every home. Have you heard of the all-American prophet? He found a brand new book about Jesus Christ. We're following him to paradise. We call ourselves Mormons. And our new religion is All-American! The Mormons kept on searching for that place to settle down But every time they thought they found it, they got kicked out of town And even though people wanted to see the golden place, Joseph never showed up! I have maggots in my scrotum um, okay. Well, anyway, now comes the part of our story that gets a little bit sad. On the way to the promised land, Mormons made people mad. Oh! Die without letting me show the people the plates. They'll never know if I was telling the truth or not. They'll have to believe me just cause. Oh! <laughs> I guess that's sort of what you were going for. <laughs> the prophet Joseph Smith died for what he believed in, but his followers. They kept heading west, and Brigham Young led them to paradise. A sparkling land in Utah they named Salt Lake City. And there, the Mormons multiplied and made big Mormon families, generation to generation, until finally, they made me. And now it's my job to lead you where the valley settlers were led so long ago. Have you heard of the All-American Prophet? Andrew H. The next in line to be the voice of God. He's gonna do something incredible. If you 
Joseph Smith again, cause Andrew H. the prophet is called All-American! If you order now, we'll also throw in a set of steak knives! All-American!